Yesterday I thought I created the greatest of all Battle Ram deck of all time, but yesterday was child's play. Because today I have made the ultimate adjustment. I was- why does he have a negative one uh, finish on ladder? That's slightly intimidating, but okay, we're gonna try and win with the gimmick deck today. Basically the change I've made, we've got level 15 Dugger Dutch- Dugger- I don't know how to say the thing, the Dagger Duchess, whatever the- Anyway, as I was saying, all I did is I've changed out Ice Golem for a simple 3 elixir card. The Dagger Duchess. No, the Little Prince. Um, what is wrong with me? And basically what that means is I've created the ultimate deck. No building is needed because look, Dagger Duchess is a god and it's going to it's gonna annihilate that. Oh, I've got Earthquake with my Hog Rider because I like to play Firecracker because I have no friends. Um, is basically what we're up against. But with the, with, with the Little Prince, right? Now the deck has air defense. I, I realize I don't need the Ice Golem because Little Prince has the Guardian, which kind of is like an Ice Golem, but it also has that, like, Little Prince is just cracked on defense, right, is what I'm trying to say. It's cracked on defense, it's good air support, and I didn't really need the Ice Golem anyway. Like, the offense is still just as strong without it. So now, I've got the air defense I was missing for. Little Prince is almost like a building as well, because it pushes stuff back, and, like I say, air defense. So now, what I'm thinking, I am terrible at this game, um, I'm thinking I have created the ultimate deck, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And I am going to be unbeatable. All I had to do was put all the broken cards in one deck, and I've done it. So he's going to go with an Earthquake. I'm just going to let that get no hits. And then, and then, and then, and then. Is he seriously going to tank that? Is he that terrified of my my potential push in the other lane? Okay, let's go. Little Prince is just crazy in this deck because it's relying on it, which means it gets more value... And when it's getting more value, it's going to do more. Okay, shit, I'm leaking Elixir. Don't know what to do. Um, and we've got the Evolve Zap as well, which is going to be great for offense. Okay, you know what? The one thing I didn't prepare for is the Evolve Knight. Wait, Evolve Knight might be kind of... Hang on. Evolve Knight might be kind of cracked now because of the... Because of the, the fact that it can tank the, the du Dagger Duchess. I can't say the word. Um, it's, it's charge damage, man. Anyway... While I am going to annihilate this guy, I want to say I just did a little live stream. For those of you who are, who are around the time that I normally post my videos. Alright, here we go. This is a little prince in action, baby. Let's see what it can do. So he's going for the earthquake. He's doing everything in his power. I should have played this battle ram about 10,000 years ago. But playing it now. Fuck it. He's going to go for a bomb tower. I don't care. I'm going for a freeze. Now I'll have to force out a building. Okay, perfect. So we know he's got Tesla now. I know what we're dealing with. Dagger Duchess is fully charged up, so hopefully Zap won't kill it, will it? No, it won't. Of course it won't. Please. Oh, you little schmuck. All right. Battle Ram is tanking the Tesla, which is just not what any human being has ever wanted, but that's okay. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, I just did a live stream before this recording with my next door neighbor. Now, I've, t I've spoken about my neighbor. In okay, he's my hang on. He's panicking. Hold that thought. I've spoken about my neighbor in a few videos. This was my other neighbor, not the neighbor that I, I can never have my other neighbor on the channel. Two, it's just, he'll, I can't, I just can't. I just can never do it. Okay, come on. Get the ability off. And it's going to do something, right? Go! Wait, why haven't I evolved Zap like 10 years ago? And there we go. We won the first game. Let's go, baby. Easily beating Hog Firecracker Earthquake. I struggled against it yesterday, but today I've become a master of the Duchess. Abusing the broken of all battle ram. I'm a god. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, I did a live stream with my neighbor. If you want to watch that, the VOD is on the channel. Um, that was definitely an interesting experience. I think a lot of people, were, a lot of the people were like, oh, I expected them to be, you know, a lot older and whatnot. No, that's my other neighbor who I can't have on the channel ever. But yeah, so that's what I did. It was a lot of fun. So smash like if you like that type of content. But anyway... We're going to win today because I'm having a lot of fun with trolling with the Evolved Battle Ram and the fact that I can literally just abuse the the Dagger Duchess to defend. That sounds kind of weird, but hang on. Why has he got double Pekka when I'm playing Battle Ram? Things nobody likes to see. Dude, this... I'm, I'm geeking out over this deck. I'm not going to lie. Having the little prince there, having the Battle Ram. Oh, just look at it. Just look at it. Abs... Okay, I was going to say absolutely shredded. Put that thing away, buddy. I've got my eyes on you. Anyway, I'm going to cycle Battle Ram because he used like 200 Pekkas there. And also because I want to get to the Evolve one. Also, I had a little realization today. You know how we just had the long weekend? I don't know if every part of the world had a long weekend. You know what? Fuck it. Freeze. Why not? And he's back to the Mini Pekka. 
Okay. You know what? It's fine. He spent a ton of elixir, and I can rely on my Dutch... Fucking cops on my ass um, to, uh, to kill everything. So... Yeah, I was always saying, everyone had a long week. Well played. Can you just let me speak? I'm going to dab on you. Okay, you know what? That was nice. Why am I... Well played. Oh, and he's all love. Okay, I got to be stop being so toxic to my opponents. I hate this guy. Anyway, as I was saying, I, I you know, I finished the long weekend, a lot of shenanigans and whatnot, and I was like, now it's back to, you know, not shenanigans. And I was thinking about that thing I said the other day on the channel, the realest thing I've ever said on this channel, which was like, it's hard to not be happy if you're constantly making yourself proud or something like that. That is literally the truest thing I've ever spat in my life. There's always those things you really don't want to do. I don't know why I did that. I have the Dagger Duchess. You know what? Let's go for this. Even though he's got double Pekka. I don't care. Hold that thought. Okay, we'll go like this. And I'll just rage. And then, boom, it's going to do like a thousand damage. Yep. Nice e -whiz, buddy. Shame it's getting it a ton of damage either way. Perfect. And then all I have to do is rely on the Dagger Duchess and the fact that I can literally just play... Okay, that was slightly terrifying. Um, I can just play this, do the ability. It's just... No one is breaking through with anything. It's too cracked. And then he's going to go with that preemptively, so I go the other lane. And he's going to use an Evolve Zap as well. Whatever he does, I'm going to freeze. Damn it, I hate my life. Dagger Duchess is going to be good. Basically, what I was trying to say is about that saying... Is, um, this guy is struggling to get through. I'm never going to get to the end of a thought, by the way. Um, you know, you have to get back in the routine. You have to do things you don't want to do. That's how life is, man. You got to do things you don't want to do all the time. But goddamn, if you know you have to do them and you get them done, you just feel so proud of yourself. And that, I think, is what, in its essence, life is all about, you know? Because that is like sustained happiness. Just being proud of yourself for doing things. That, that's, that's the answer, man. That's the answer. If there was a question, that's the answer. Hang on, I have a bit of a push in the other lane. Let me defend this. But yeah, I've, um... It's definitely been helping me in my real life, just realizing that thought. This guy thinks he's broken through and he's going wow. Oh wait, no he's not, he's going wow because... Hang on, let's not choke here. No, the range of the P.E.K.K.A! Oh my god, the new range almost just made me choke this entire game. Okay, now I have two options on how I win this game. I can win like a man. And what a man would do is he would not zap his tower till he gets evolved zap and then win the game like that. But I am, I'm not feeling very man, not very feeling very manly today. So that's all I have to do. Freeze over there. Dagger Dutch is going to go crazy. Then I go with this. Then I zap again. This is how you win Clash Royale, baby. There is no beating this. I've created the ultimate deck. It is so good, man. It is so good. I literally thought I created the best deck yesterday by putting in Ice Golem. No, no, no. All I had to do was put in Little Prince for Ice Golem because I already have that tank feature and it's not like I need a tank for my Lumberjack and my Battle Ram because if I'm defending with a Lumberjack then I can just defend with it and freeze. I don't need to protect the lump. What? Okay, good thing the Dagger Duchess is absolutely insane against that. Okay, he spent a lot of Elixir to start this game. So I'm just going to go my Battle Ram to counter push. He thinks the Duchess is going to carry him. No, it's not. I'm going to freeze. If you're going to go that aggressive at the start of the game and I have a Rage Battle Ram, I'll take it. And that thing is going to do so little damage because it's not charged up. And that's how we start a game against Miguel from 100 Thieves who wants to try and ruin my day by going that aggressive. It's not going to happen. But yeah, I'm very proud of this deck. I'm proud of the fact that it's still cheap. All I had to do, like I say, is put in a broken card. That's pretty much all you have to do in this game in 2024. Uh, you just play the credit card as well as you can. Are you serious? Okay, zap that, don't want that getting any more damage. Okay. Okay, I don't know how that died, but I think he just zapped. But yeah, anyway, that's what I was saying. Uh, anyway, that's what I was thinking. God, my head is just all over the place today. What was wrong with me? Um, yeah, doing those things that you know you have to do, even though you really don't want to do them, and you, every part of your, literally every bone in your body is telling you you don't want to do these things. You have to, and I guess half the reason I bring this up is because what my point was trying to make earlier is because I live alone now, like if anything's like nothing's going to get done unless, you know, I make sure I do it because no one's going to be there and tell me, oh, you got to do this and that and whatnot. Things have to get done, man, because I live by myself. Otherwise, um, they just don't get done. So, you know, after a weekend of, you know, goofing about and whatnot, you have to get back on top of things even as much as you don't want to. And, um, 
that there's, there's no simple way to go about that besides just doing it. But doing those things makes you proud of yourself because you know you had to do them and you get them done. And doing those things, I, I feel like leaves you quite happy and fulfilled. And um, that is my philosophical, philosophical thought for the day before I get roasted in the comments for my, uh, my yapping. I know it's quite a controversial thing on this channel. Ooh, battle ram go. You know what? Evolve zap. Okay, so he's going to evolve zap as well. That's fine. But yeah, that's basically how I feel about it. Um, and it's great, man. There are a lot of things recently that have been putting me so... That I've had to do in my life that I guess have been problems for me. This is getting deep. Over a long period of time that I've had to do. And I've been putting them off. Or not putting them off, but... Anyway, basically, you understand my point. Feels good. Feels good. It's been making me happy. Even if, uh, even as much as I hate to do these things in the moment, getting them done. Like when you have an, I just remember like in school, when you have an assignment or something you have to do and you finally get it done or some task like putting the washing on the line or something and you really don't want to do it and then you finally get it done. It feels so, you feel so good when you get it done. Even if there is a big ta like long list of tasks of things you have to do for the day, things you don't want to do and whatnot. It's great. You know what? Let's open the mystery drop after this game. I'm feeling confident. I almost want more of a challenge. Like, please feed me the hog firecracker virgins. I will slaughter them one by one because I'm confident in my deck. I'm so proud of this because all it is... Holy fuck. I've, I've never even seen the Duchess against the Skeleton Barrel. It's fucking insane. Um, I'm guessing I have to play a knight here. But yeah, I, I'm confident in this deck. I'm proud of it. Let's go with a Lumberjack over here. Just when he's defending that, I'll go with a Little Prince in the other lane. Little Prince is such a broken card as well. Because it's so versatile. Hey, look at this! What the fuck is happening? You know what? Zap so I can get even more damage. I, I just... And that's the thing. I just took the entire tower with the new card. And I don't even have to worry that much about this push. Because the Dagger Duchess is so broken. This is so broken. This is literally me combining all the most broken things that, like in this game in one deck. All I had to do... <laughs> was abuse the most broken feature of the battle round, which is the fact that it slams over and over again, and then freeze to make it even more of a broke. That's the win condition. The way I win the game, in case you don't know what that means. What did I just witness? Roop top? Roop toop? I don't even know how to say it. Did you just... I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to comprehend it, but I took your entire... You know what? I'm going to three crown this guy. I don't care. I want to get out of Roop toop's face. I want Roop toop out of my face, and I want to get the three crown... Um, because I'm confident that he's bad. Okay, I got Evolve Zap as well. Dude, Evolve Zap's ridiculous. I can literally just play it, and if he plays anything, it's going to get stunned, and where is your defense? <laughs> I mean, I am playing a lot of bots this video, but, like, the first game was against kind of a crack guy. All right, new challenge. How fast... This this, this doesn't count. How fast can I beat Ru Rupert to... What is that name, by the way? Rupertoop? All right, you know what? Screw it. Let's just play Evolve Battle Ram and hopefully win the game. All I have to do is freeze. Okay, that's fine with me. Good thing it doesn't connect because of that. And then I just go for a zap. Yep. Oh, it was literally going to go through it itself because it's so cracked. I don't know how it's still going, but it is. And then the Rage Barbs. Come on, take the whole towel for me. But yeah, um... I had that thought the other day. Uh, I think the video in which I brought it up for the first time about like doing things that make you proud. It's hard not to be happy if you're doing that. Um, it's been, it's just been ringing true. It's like the real, it's like the, it's the coolest realization I've ever realized in my life because you know, at the end of the day, you can have fun doing things, but there are things you're always going to not want to have to do. And I think staying on top of that and you know, making sure you're not procrastinating Leads to long-term happiness. Especially because, um, not that I've ever had a problem with happiness, really. But it's it's definitely easy to be upset and sad if you're not doing... If you're not staying on top of your things in your life. You know what I mean? If you're not on top of things you know you have to do, you kind of get into a slump and a rut. And that can make you unhappy. Definitely very easily. Knowing you've got a big pile of things weighing on top of you that you know you have to do, but you're not doing them anyway. That's no bueno. Anyway, guys, back to farming internet subscribers. That's all we do. We play We play the most broken cards in this game. Wherever the views are at, there will be Ken, is what I'm trying to say. And right now, everyone is playing Dagger Duchess. And everyone 
And the Evolve Battle Ram is broken. Okay, please go for the Little Prince. Yes, let's go. Okay, King Tower activated. I'll go with this on the bridge, purely just to cycle. It seems like this guy's pretty... Okay, yeah, this is going to be hard because he's got the Broken Duchess and he's also got the Cannon, which is a building. So finally, someone who's going to require me to, ex you know, test my deck and my IQ, it seems. So I get to use a bit of strategy to try and win this game. Who knew it would be a guy in a clan called Fortnite? Rawr! <laughs> but that's how it goes, man. You never... It's the Fortnite kids that will uh, will get the better of you at the end. All right, you know what? Let's go with this. Hopefully he plays something into that. Okay, he's going to do that. And he, I forced out a Goblin Gang. I'll take that. God, it's so ridiculous, like, trying to get through when the dug Dugger... I can't say the word. The Dagger Duchess. But it's low on HP, so quickly! Battle Ram, go! Before it recharges. No, it's recharging. Okay, at least he used his, his cannon. And we got to the Evolved Battle Ram next now. So I'll just play this at the bridge because it's not recharged. I'm really just trying to take advantage of that fact. I don't know if that was a good play, though, because otherwise I could have just countered that with Skeleton. But it's fine! It's fine. Yep, he's saying, wow. Okay. I'm not really using my Evolve Zap. Zap's kind of situational. Like, some matchups it's better. But I love it with the Freeze because it's good synergy. Like, Zap and Freeze kill a lot of stuff. And also, Evolve Zap is broken. And also, I need a small spell. And also, it works, like, as a quick answer on offense with the uh, Evolve Battle Ram. You know what? I'm just going to Zap that because I need a cycle. And also, I'm going to stop letting him get Fireball value. Alright, let's go like this. I don't want that splashing my tower. He's gonna go for a log, okay. Alright, let's go for another one. Here we go, alright. Damn, he's really going all out to defend this. That was a terrible freeze. I should have saved my freeze for later in the game because this guy now knows my gimmick. Alright, this guy is a certified tryhard. We, I, can, I, I can literally feel it. Okay, come on. Going for this. I'm hoping that... Okay, Zap coming in clutch there. That card is almost as infuriating as my deck must be to play against. Fuck! How am I going to get through a cannon? This is going to require some braining. Alright, we're going to play this in the other lane so he doesn't get another free fireball. He's playing really defensively, which is kind of obnoxious. We'll evolve Zap that. That will be good value. Killing the firecracker. He has used his log. I wonder if he'll go for a fireball. Yep, he will. Then we'll go with this. Go with this. Into the rage. Freeze now! Oh, that wasn't evolved. Oh, I thought that was an evolved battle round. I was expecting it to... And he's got E-Spirit, which is hard to break through as well. Yeah, this is a certified hard matchup to win. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. So Lumberjack's going to take that out. Go with this. Go with this to... Stop the Evolved Knight, actually. Alright, kind of want to save my... Oh my god, this is so annoying. This deck is mildly infuriating. Go with a Lumberjack here so it doesn't get a hit. Go with this. Okay, that better not kill the bats. And it's killed the bats. God damn it. Alright, we'll go with this because I have Elixir. And then we'll go with a, a Zap here. Okay, you know what? Let's go with this. Let's go with a freeze. Evolve Battle Ram, baby. Come on. Go for Evolve Zap. Come on. Okay, that was... I have activated King. But that is good. Is he going to go for a Skeleton Barrel here? He is. Okay. Now, he is over defending a bit, but that's fine. Alright. Let's go like this. We need to take out that Cannon. Okay, that Vol Firecracker is getting way too much value over there. Okay, we need to kill it. We need to get back to the Evolved Battle Ram. Okay, it's our only chance. Come on! Come on! No! <laughs> it was... Oh, I hit the Evolved Zap! He was spell cycling. I wanted to win like a man. Oh my god, the Evolved Zap would have done it. Alright. That's... That's... How we lose... Well, he did have a lot of counters. You know, his bro, his whole deck was a counter deck. He doesn't even have a proper win condition. It was just skeleton, skeleton Barrel and Spell Cycle. And then it was Cannon, Log, 
viable e-spirit. Look, that was a tough one. But anyway, to celebrate our loss, we get nothing in the lucky drop, as usual. That is another video. Farming views, farming subscribers. Road to 300k, baby. If you enjoyed, make sure to smash like. Smash subscribe. I don't know what this is with my hand, but yeah. Peace out.